In this activity, we're going to take a look at something called the Gartner Hype Cycle. There are three questions that we need to answer. The first question is, who is this or what is this Gartner Group? What do they have a value for us? The second question is, what is this Hype Cycle that we're talking about? And the third question, the question that's probably on most people's mind is, what is it exactly that I need to do in order to complete this assignment? We're going to take a look at those three questions in, in this presentation. Good luck. Gardner is a consulting firm. They make their money providing best practices, predictions, things like this to uh, businesses, corporations, governments, news organizations, in some cases educational institutions. Uh, they have a large list of, of customers. They're, they're very profitable. They're very good. You'll want to go out to their website and take a look. In 1995, Gardner developed the Gardner Hype Cycle. There are five stages to this. There's the technology trigger, the peak of inflated expectations, the trough of disillusionment, the slope of enlightenment, and the plateau of productivity. The, uh, the stages are, are visible in the graphic to the right. In the graphic, timeline runs from left to right, and visibility runs from bottom to top. You can see that the technology trigger initiates a, a blast of increased visibility in which there's some unrealistic expectations of what the technology is to deliver. It reaches a peak at the peak of inflated expectations when people begin to realize that, well, maybe this isn't quite what we thought it was going to be. Visibility starts to plummet. It bottoms out at what is called the trough of disillusionment. Then at that point, something interesting happens. There are those people who look at the technology and say, you know, this isn't all that bad. Maybe there's a way that we can use this. Uh, maybe there's a way that we can make this thing pay off for us. And that's where you get into the slope of enlightenment. The last stage is the plateau of productivity. And that's where these people have actually implemented a technology in some meaningful way. Now, this is a pretty crude uh, and, and very brief look at the, the Gardner hype cycle. You will want to find out more. You will need to find out more. I would suggest that you either Google or Wikipedia Gardner hype cycle and it'll give you a much more thorough explanation than the one that you just heard. Now, depending upon what media you're looking at, the graphic now might be almost unreadable for you. If you're on a PDF file, you may be able to zoom into it enough to make things out, but otherwise it might be a bit problematic. In any case, we're going to zoom into one part of it so you can see a little, a little subsection of this thing. And if you go out to Google and uh, Google the Gartner hype cycle, this, this image, this graphic will come up among the very first hits. So let's go in, let's take a look at the, uh, the peak of inflated expectations, and let's see what kinds of things are there. Now you're going to have to remember that this was put together in August of 2005, and obviously things have, have changed and developed since then. We've got a little over two plus years in. So if you take a look at that, we can kind of see what things have actually come through the way they thought they might, and maybe what, what things have not. If you look up towards the, uh, well, about two-thirds of the way up, we've got podcasting. Now, Podcasting, according to them, is going to, uh, is going to reach a, a plateau of productivity in about two to five years. But at this point, it's still in the, the area of, un, or of inflated expectations. Interesting. Podcasting has, in fact, become fairly mainstream right now, and it is pretty productive. I'd say that this one was pretty, uh, was pretty much right on. Up towards the top further, you come into uh, P2P VOIP, which stands for peer-to-peer -peer voice over internet protocol. This would be uh, similar to, uh, to telephone conversations. Probably Skype is the best example of this. According to, to this graphic, uh, very, very shortly, well, from August of 2005, this should start to make a very big decrease. Uh, and in fact, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, we come down on the, uh, on the other side, and just on the other side of this is desktop search. And uh, at this point in August of 2005, this was on the down, downhill slope. wasn't doing really particularly well. And things have, again, begun to change. So based on those three things, uh, this chart seems to be reasonable, or at least they are, are reasonably accurate with, with this type of chart. Now, if you take a look at this, they have taken technologies and they have placed them on this graph. You want to remember that. Uh, keep that in mind later on when we get into the assignment that, that you will have on this project. 
So again, basically what they have done is they have taken technologies and they have placed them on this graph and then of course further into the document uh, they have explanations on why these, these technologies are where they are. And now for the assignment. I want you to select an internet technology. Web 2.0 is good, but almost anything will work. It could be something like Wiki, uh, Twitter, um, pick something that was not on the graphic that you saw on the earlier slide. That is, pick something that's a little bit different. Uh, but pick what you what you want, pick what you're what you're comfortable with, pick what you know about. Decide where your technology fits on the Gartner hype cycle, and most importantly, why it fits in the location that you think it fits in. So think of a technology, think of where it fits on this hype cycle. Then I want you to write a short document. Two paragraphs is probably about enough, about a half a page, certainly no more than one page. Uh, keep it relatively brief. This is not a large assignment. But uh, about a half a page, make sure that it's in a Word 2003 or RTF file format and turn it in via the course D2L Dropbox. Your paper must do two things. First, you must identify and describe your technology. Uh, assume that I know very little about it and describe in at least a few sentences, probably no more than a paragraph, what your technology is all about. If you'd like to include a URL, uh, something that, uh, that points to a good example of it, that might be useful. Uh, but please don't just point to a URL that describes your technology. Describe it in your own words. Also, identify the location on the curve where your technology fits and explain why. That is, I want you to consider the, the Gartner hype cycle and I want you to decide where on that curve uh, your technology fits. Okay, now you're going to have to describe it in words. So you may have to describe it as, uh, oh, for example, halfway between the technology trigger and the peak of inflated expectations. Or you might say, well, my technology fits comfortably on the slope of enlightenment. Or my technology fits right at the bottom of the trough of disillusionment. Uh, describe it in words. You should explain why it doesn't fit at other locations on the curve. That would help to solidify your argument. Your writing must demonstrate, number one, that you know your technology, and number two, that you understand the hype cycle. This is considered a daily assignment and will be graded accordingly. It's not going to make or break anybody's grade, but it gets us off to a start. The assignment is due no later than the beginning of the next scheduled class period. The Dropbox will not accept files after that time. Please get them in on time. And finally, do your own writing. An unpolished but honest report is appreciated much more than one with stolen content. Please don't copy and paste. Please don't paraphrase. Pick a technology that you're comfortable with and just write it out in your own words. Well, that's your introduction to the Gardner hype cycle. You'll need to do a little bit more research in order to fill in some of the gaps that I imagine you probably have in order to complete this assignment, but I think you'll do just fine. Good luck, and I look forward to reading your papers. Thank you.